Today, we are gonna make some grass. No, I'm not in Colorado, so it's not gonna be that kind of grass. It's our techniques that are so simple and sensible, your models have practically built them themselves. <laughs> Hello folks, it's Mad Dog Murph. Welcome to the Kid Hoarder Stash. And today we have a tank again. You're welcome. The uh, M36 tank destroyer, but <clears throat> this one's a special version of the M36. Um, or the, yeah. And, and we're gonna cover that here. So uh, without further ado, let's get going on this. This is Oh, you're gonna have to forgive me. It's I think it's the B1 version, M36 B1. And what that means is it is an M36 turret, a Jackson turret with the 90 millimeter gun. And there was, uh, I can't remember, a couple of hundred of them that were put on some M4 turrets that were already, or turrets, M4 chassis that were already ready and out there and running. Um, so it's kind of neat. It's a it's a Sherman chassis with an M36 turret. The turret ring was the same size, so they did it. They they could, so they did. Um, the instructions are really. I mean, well, yeah, you can see them here. Um, they're actually pretty simple to follow, even though they look kind of sparse. And I have built this kit before. I'm going to tell you, a lot of people dog this kit. Oh, it's an Italian it's got this and it's got that. You know what? I built it before, and it builds into a nice little Sherman. <clears throat> yeah, the Pioneer tools um, do suck. <laughs> okay, the Pioneer tools are just, eh, really? I don't remember an axe looking like that. But, but, with that said, other than that, it builds into a pretty decent kit, so... This came, this came out of a gentleman's... <coughs> Goodness. I'm dying over here. Uh, this came out of a gentleman's stash who um, passed away this last year. And I helped the family get rid of a lot of the... Uh, a lot of the uh, unopened kits. And then there was a bunch of um, open stuff and started stuff and a bunch of pieces, parts... And I wound up with all of that. And a lot of that I'm gonna wind up giving to the uh, local IPMS guys. My dachshund's outside barking because he's probably cold. Because instead of going in the house where he's supposed to be, um, he wants to be out here with me, which is very sweet, but it's cold out here. <laughs> Harold, hush. Okay, so to start this out, <clears throat> you have, um, the earlier style road wheels. Um, you've got your um, bogies, um, your vertical volute suspension system. It's very, very simple on this kit, which I like, okay? I don't like 50 parts to my suspension, to building one piece of suspension. Sorry, I just don't. I'm not, I'm not a big builder, okay? I like to finish and I like to detail but I don't like to sit there and build for six months just to get the kit together, okay? So it's a pretty simple kit, like I said. The lower hull, no injection pin marks, you know. Um, molding is good, okay? Molding is molding's good on this. Here is the the sprue that makes the difference. So this is uh, the Jackson turret. Oh, darn it, that hurt. The M36 turret, and here, <laughs> they, put the, they put the basket. <laughs> I, okay, it's a little bit hokey, but I, I will live with it. So you've got detail of the, of the basket bottom here, the floor of the basket. Uh, you've got uh, your uh, gypsy rack 
here. Uh, smoke discharger. The Cal 50 is is not that great. I mean, it'll it'll work in a pinch, but uh, really, if you got the Azuka uh, Cal 50, that's a much better uh, one to put on here. Um, <clears throat> mirrors, the the big 90 millimeter gun, and hatches to this thing. Here's your M4 A3 hull. Uh, this, <laughs> I, I've seen this sprue a lot because every, you know, Italieri kit, and there was a Dragon kit from the 19, uh, like 1995, that was actually just a reboxed Italieri kit and different box art. Yeah, so I've seen this a lot. Uh, this actually has the, uh, what do they call it? This armored cover for an M4. Okay, um, your grab handles, your 50 cal, your terrible pioneer tools, uh, hatches, fenders, if you want to put your, your fenders on, um, the guards for the, uh, uh, for the periscope, your guards for the lights, um, the uh, extra rack for the, uh, the tracks. This stuff is for M4 only. <laughs> this is for M4 only. And then you've got two of these, one here and uh, one on the other sprue. One's for an M4A3, one's for like an M4A2. Because also, <laughs> they made this, so this same sprue did a lot of different things. <laughs> um, you got some great extra parts, like I said, if you ever need it for another M4 project you're doing. You know, the molding's not too bad at all. Uh, now, here's the weak spot. These tracks. These vinyl, hard vinyl POS tracks. The only thing you can do with these things is uh, once you put them around, you got to take a hot glue or hot glue, a hot knife and uh, melt the little pins uh, on here. These really are trash, so. Here we have decals. Just very simple, very simple star and uh, three stars and a couple of numbers, you know, a couple of small numbers. So not much to it. <clears throat> I mean, that's it. That's it. I've just received the whole kit. Bing, bang, boom. Uh, and it builds pretty quick as well. This is one that you can easily do in a weekend. And we all know that I love weekend builds. Um, I've had my share in my life of building a kit for a year <laughs> and you know my attention span just isn't what it used to be so if I'm working on something for a couple of weeks great that's about uh, that's about as far as I can go so there you go there is the kit very simple not much to it but it does um, because like I said I've built this uh, I think twice now one just a couple of years ago, and it turns out pretty good. And if you want to add a little detailing to it, if you want to make some grab handles out of uh, out of brass, or if you want to put a whole bunch of gear on it, great. I mean, with all of the uh, all of the things that are out there now, you can take these kind of kits and you can actually make them into something pretty decent. So, anyway, that's it for today, folks. And we'll see you again real soon.